What's up, family? What's up, family? Just, you know, chilling. Letting this breeze come through here on a nice summer night evening. You know, I just got finished um, checking in on um, CT Temptation. She had a good live stream over there getting it in. I seen my main man, Real Deal, a couple other people I'm familiar with on her page. You know, she going hard in her paint. No, she going hard, y'all. You know, she representing Shy. I ain't gonna call it Shy Rack. I'm gonna call it by its respectful name, Chicago. You know, when it comes to the melanated people and bringing out various topics and subjects, you know, it's, it's very in depth. You know, I enjoy your, you know, I enjoy your uh, commentary, sister. Okay, keep, you know, keep it coming, sister. Keep it coming. And congratulations on your channel and its growth. Okay, keep that information coming. I appreciate, I appreciate your service. You know what I'm saying? For the melanated community, when it comes to, you know, respect of our narratives and ideologies and everything that got to you know, do with the black experience. But let me um, get down to the get down. Man, the real deal. And uh, the Elder Truth, a.k.a. <laughs> Rashawn DeLay, man. Those two, those, those, <laughs> those two guys keep me going. They don't even realize they keep me doing videos, man, because I'm inspired by their stuff, too, and I hope I inspire them also. And 411 Talk Show talk show radio at a talk zone radio excuse me and um rig the bad guy you know mr donnie 908 of course and conscious effect you know i try to cover all the bases man all the bases man yeah man that man i appreciate that brother you know sometimes you got to make a stand like that man i mean i can feel i can feel the pain and frustration because it is Man, we too see the problem is the, the 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 motherfucking problem is we too jealous of each other as black men. We spend too much time worrying about what the next black man doing instead of worrying about the key issues. You know, like our legacy. You know, we got this new generation. They got we got to pass them the baton. We got to pass them the fucking baton and the relay race so they can carry on the legacy man but we're not doing a good job some of us man not all you know not some of us are not doing a good job you know let's put it like this let, let me let me re-say that some of us are doing a good job and some of us are not doing a good job let's put it like that you know and it's showing man you know we got to take pride in that youth uh hey man you can't get back that age. I know I know when I was 16, I can't go back, you know. I'm in my early 40s now. The gig is up. So you supposed to change, you supposed to make a change with the times and the change with your age, you know. You got jokers my age trying to go back in their second childhood. That's why they be acting out on social media, acting like motherfucking children, man. And them young boys don't respect that. They look at you like a fool, you know. Same thing with these women trying to, you know, be hoochie mamas in, in their 40s and 50s. It's time to hang it up, sister, you know? If these kids, if these young, if these young adults don't got no good role models or no good elders, well, what the fuck, you know? that's This is why cops are having their way with us. That's why we still getting killed in the streets because some of us, we don't even respect ourselves, man. And that's where the problem, we gotta do in-house cleaning too, you know? It's like elders say, those picket signs, those demonstrations don't mean shit. They don't. It's a waste of time in my book. The households need to be conditioned in the right way. It needs to be a man in that motherfucking household to lay the law. Okay? We have gotten away from those principles, man. The man is the lead. The woman is the tail. You know? No one ain't respecting, no one's not respecting the marriage oaths, for better or for worse, till death do us part. No one's not respecting that shit no more. You know, I was, uh, 
on CT Temptations live stream that she was talking about the aspect and a and a subject of uh, bullying in the school districts. You know, social media got a lot to play in that. You know, because half of these kids' times is spent on social media. You know, I wanted to say some more stuff, but I ain't want to get you know too in depth with the vulgarity. But it's a lot of these uh, young kids is hooked on porno, my, uh, folks. They go to these, uh, like Periscope, they scrum like it ain't nothing on Periscope. Periscope. I mean, Periscope. And like World Star Hip Hop, they got an adult version. And they be having like vines, but they be porno vines. They be scrum. And then kids be looking at that because their parents don't got time to model them, you know? They don't have no proper supervision. So this is why you guys still got a high rate of teenage pregnancy. And these girls getting trains ran on them. The you know no ones is no one nobody ain't practicing safe sex, and this is how the STDs is racking up. Cause it's, it, it, the morality of it all is going down in a in a shithole. You know what I'm saying? You know if it ain't no spirituality, if it ain't no spirituality in it, if it ain't no uh, no uh, holiness in it, well, what else? If it ain't if that's not in the equation, you know. The next step, it's going to be demonic, and there you have it. Uh, you have all this activity going on in various suburbs, cities, and boroughs, man. You know, these kids are getting infested with all kinds of bullshit. And I really appreciate uh, the real deal and the elder going hard because it needed to be that needed to be addressed. You know, I care too less shits about this. That that this gender war stuff, and I saw Ray the bad guy. Yeah, I guess so. People are tired, and at the end of the day, the gender war was a bunch of bullshit because people lost their channels, dudes lost their channels, women lost their channels. So who won at the end of the day? Who won? Other than YouTube. Stupidity, man. Uh, instead of keying in on the real issues. Like this crisis of uh, the youth still killing each other, uh, unemployment still high. I mean, it's a lot of stuff we still got to work on, you know. And now we have social media; it's a double-edged sword. You got some people use it for for good, like the elders like us, and you got some people to lose, you know, to use it for demonic activity, you know. But my thing was, you know, appreciating my little family I got on YouTube, you know, the elders, and like I say, real deal, and um, the elder, you know, elder truth, nineteen forty-eight, and I'm about to wrap it up. Uh, man, y'all, y'all done the damn thing, you know, y'all done it, man. Oh, this breeze feel good, you know, y'all done it, man. Y'all went hard today. I appreciate that, you know. That's how I supposed to be. Either come real or get the get the hell out, you know what I'm saying? Either come real or forget about it. But I ain't gonna drag y'all. You know, I'm gonna enjoy this weather. Put my toes up in the air. You know, I hope I make it to the next morning. You know what I'm saying? That's that's another thing. You ain't promised the next day, so you better get your life right you know every time you wake up you better thank god because you ain't you know what i'm saying you don't have to wake up the next morning you feel me like the old saying go every day above every day above ground is a good day everything above not below every day everything above everything above is a, it's a good day King Rossi, a.k.a. All of my productions. Have a good night. Have a good evening. Have a good morning. Have a, have a good afternoon to everybody across the globe. See you later. Adios. Asamayana. If I'm saying it right. Peace out.